Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. You're watching Laravel 5.5 New Features, and this is episode number seven. So we're halfway through the series. This is episode seven out of 14. And this video, we're gonna talk about making a new artisan command. It's so much easier in Laravel 5.5 because it's automatically registered. So with the help of using um, a, basically an artisan command that already exists, we can generate a brand new custom command and just start writing the logic for it. It's really, really that easy. It's gonna make um, creating new artisan commands effortless. You're not even gonna think about it. It's so easy. Let me show you guys how it works. We're inside of our project here inside the terminal. Let's go ahead, we're gonna run the new command. It's php artisan make command. This actually isn't a new command, it existed before, but what it does is a little bit different. So here we go, we've got the, the command, let's give it a name. In this case, we're gonna say, it's called say hello. We're just gonna have it return back hello because we don't really have much logic to execute inside this project. So we're gonna give it the command, the name say hello, and then let's go ahead and pass in a flag that says, um, called command, and let's register the command. So we'll say say colon hello, and now we could make another one that says say goodbye or something like that. So let's go ahead and generate it. We click enter. It says console command create is successful. Cool, right? So we could head over to our project and take a look at this file, but before we do that, I wanna show you that if you run PHP artisan, uh, let's do list. This lists all the commands. Okay, so um, this lists all the commands you have access to under the artisan namespace. And so you can see here, there's a bunch of basic ones. Here's all like all of our make commands, all of our migrate commands, notifications, queue commands, so forth. And now we have a new namespace, the say commands, and we have say hello is under there. Pretty cool, it actually technically works, although we haven't actually given it any logic yet, we could actually run PHP artisans say hello, and it runs. Now, granted, it's an empty it's an empty function, so there's nothing really to do, but it is technically working, right? It, it recognizes the new file, it's automatically registered, it's automatically available, it's that easy to create a new artisan command. Now, let's just take a look at this in the project just so that we um, uh, can see kind of what it does. So inside of our app folder, inside of console, we have a new uh, file called sayhello.php. You can see here's the signature is automatically set up. We have a description. Now this description, um, have the artisan bot say hello to you. This will show up when we list the commands now. Um, and then we've got our construct and our handle. This is what actually happens. So if we wanted, we could say like info, hello. There we go. And now we've actually created the logic, what should happen when we run this command. Now normally you wouldn't just do this, you would normally have have this go out to some X, a, API or have this, you know, I don't know, like regenerate your migrations or, you know, do some sort of assisting command for you and you would put the logic to do that here just like it's a controller function or something like that. But we're just gonna, for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna output uh, hello there back to the user. So that's it, this is our whole command. Now in the past, what we had to do is we actually had to go through and register it here in the um, in the kernel, but we um, up here, but we don't actually need to do any of that more. It's just automatic and it's good to go. Let's just go through, we're gonna run it one more time. Hello there, we get the command. And then also if we run um, the list command again, it says say hello, we have our new description there. It's easy. Um, that's basically all there is to artisan commands. So that's basically it. Let me show you one last thing before we go. I just wanna show you guys how this is working. So if you come over to your kernel.php where you used to register the commands, and now down here where you actually have all your commands registered, you can see it actually just loads the entire commands directory. So that's how this is handled. Basically anything, anytime you put a command inside of this commands directory, it'll automatically be registered. So you could make a manually if you just wanted to say, we could just duplicate this one. Uh, we'll say, say goodbye. And then we'll just change this and we'd say, we'll say, okay, bye. Change this up a little bit. Goodbye. And that's it. So, oh, let's change this. Say goodbye. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's all there is to it. Now let's go through and let's list those commands. And now if we list the commands, we have both goodbye, hello. So you don't have to use the console generator either. You could just copy files. It's automatically loading 
any files inside the command directory. But that's how easy it is to make a new artisan command. So you could make artisan commands for your own projects, super easy. You register the command, you give it a name, and then you just throw the, the logic in there just like it's a controller or something like that. That's it. That easy to run console commands. And um, hopefully you guys can put that to good use. So that's it for this video. The next video we're going to cover is video number eight. We're gonna talk about a new way to validate using the request object. So that's a really cool one. I'll see you guys over there.